Greetings and welcome to lesson one, how does Bitcoin mining work? In this lesson, we'll be taking a look at what exactly the Bitcoin mining function comprises and what it means to run a full node. Let's begin. One of the most important aspects to understand when we're talking about Bitcoin is the blockchain. And one of the easiest ways to understand the blockchain is as a file continuously being updated with every transaction that's being made on the Bitcoin network. This distributed ledger of Bitcoin transactions houses every transaction that has ever been made and is being expanded as new transactions are hashed and verified by the Bitcoin network. This file is known as the blockchain and it is a cryptographic chain of blocks which are being mined. And in order to verify these transactions, computers are said to run a full node or a machine which houses a full copy which is being updated in real time and synchronized with the Bitcoin network of all these transactions. And if you look at the diagram at the bottom, you'll see a proof of work chain, something we'll get into shortly, of the blockchain protocol. And the longest chain here serves as a sort of proof that each block which came before it has its integrity and has not been compromised or deviated from the consensus of the network. There are smaller blocks which deviate from the longest chain but these full nodes and these computers mining the Bitcoin network do not subscribe to these smaller blocks and essentially they only focus on growing and hashing the largest chain. Now a full node competes with their hashing power to mine new blocks of Bitcoin and in the process they verify transactions that are being made. These transactions cannot be spent as long as the nodes remain honest and the mining pool does not com comprise 51% or more of the network hashing power. As we were discussing before the main cryptographic technology that's used in the blockchain and in the mining function is the proof of work algorithm. An algorithm that was initially devised by Adam Back as well as a group of cryptographers that is essentially verifying through hashing information that can be stored in a blockchain like network. And this type of algorithm deters double spending and helps to prevent distributed denial of service attacks. A 51% attack is only possible when one single mining pool comprises over half of the network hashing power and then therefore can double spend their money and can be a dishonest node com um, compromising essentially the integrity of the Bitcoin network. Several times on occasion mining pools have come close to owning 51% of the network hashing power and oftentimes they actually voluntarily disband some of their hashing power in order to stay under 50%. Now you might be asking what steps would we take to become a full node or a competitive miner ourselves and because the difficulty of the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency mining industry is at a level where it is now, you need very special hardware to run a profitable operation. When Bitcoin first began in 2009 and 2010, you could actually use a CPU or a GPU to mine the Bitcoin network profitably. Today, you need very specialized hardware and you need an application specific integrated circuitry chip. It's in our estimation that the mining industry will only become more competitive and the hardware involved to run profitable mining operations will become more specialized as well. This brings us to the conclusion of this lesson. If you like, we have a lab for this lesson and in it you can understand and learn for yourself how to run a full Bitcoin node. And in order to do this, go to bitcoin.org slash en slash full node. That's it for today's lesson. We'll see you in the next one.